as a power system engineer we need to check the contingency of a power system network so what is contingency first of all uh, let's discuss about this in brief then i will uh, go with the help of this etap software i will show you uh, how to check the contingency how to check the individual equipment loading that means based on the configurations based on the number of transformers in operation number of grids connected number of generators connected so based on the contingency we need to check whether the power system is capable to withstand any future load addition or any different configuration so that is the contingency which is generally called as n minus 1 contingency that means when grid is connected or when generator is connected or uh, suppose for a cogen cogeneration plant or if there is any diesel generator number of numbers of diesel generators diesels are connected along with the grid system so i will check i will i will discuss in details and with the help of the etap software load analyzer will run the we will simulate the load flow analysis and with the help of the load analyzer i will show you how to check the contingency of a power system network so that the from the design aspect as a power system engineer we we can be in a position to suggest uh, that oh, what may be the contingency uh, what may be the operating conditions of different configuration in a power system network so let's start as you can see here in this in this power system network i have drawn one simple power system network here so here is the grid connected here is a grid so uh, here that uh, x y r is your 20 and 22 kilo amperes or circuit rating this is basically 132 kb grid and from the grid 132 kb power 132 kb power is uh, coming and it is stepped down by two numbers of transformers tr01 and tr02 each each of the each transformer rating is 16 mba it is stepping down to 33 kb boldest level and another uh, diesel generator of 10 megawatt rating it is connected with this 33 kb system 33 kb bus and further this 33 kb is stepped down to 6.6 .6 kb system here uh, with the help of this uh, transformer tr03 and tr04 so this is 6.6 .6 kb system and these are further stepped down to 415 volt lv level so there are there are three four different boldest levels 132 kb 33 kb 6.6 .6 kb and lv so now when we talk about the contingency in a power system network here is a grid here is the here is the grid and in the normal operating configuration suppose this is dual feeder this is a dual feeder configuration this is dual feeder configuration here trans both the transformers both the main incoming transformers are in operation those are operating in parallel this uh, tr01 and tr02 so those transformers are in service not in parallel but those are in service because the bus coupler is kept open and also the diesel generator or any cogen uh, cogen plant steam turbine generator or gas turbine generator if those are connected with this with this um, bus along with the grid so those breakers are in open position that means there is no oh, no generator power supply here and this is once again this is the normal configuration or dual configuration dual feeder configuration 
so that all the bus couplers are kept open and incomers are closed so two incomer um, circuit breakers are closed and bus coupler breaker is kept open similarly in 6.6 .6 kb system bus coupler breaker is open and two incomer circuit breakers are in closed condition so this is dual feeder configuration if we if we talk about the contingency of a power system network we must check the single single feeder configuration also so here is the single feeder configuration here i have used the minimum uh, minimum voltage uh, minimum uh, short circuit level minimum fault contribution from the grid so that's why this minimum is selected but basically the same grid basically this is coming uh, this is connected with the same grid so from the grid 132 kb power supply is coming then as you can see this transformer uh, this transformer tr02 it is it is taken out of service uh, maybe for for maintenance activities so in this single feeder configuration basically this transformer tr01 is uh, is feeding the entire power system network since the diesel generator also not in service so the entire network and here you can see this bus coupler all the bus coupler breakers are now closed and all the in uh, incoming two circuit breakers are closed that means uh, the second tra transformers are taken out of service for maintenance purpose you can say so this is the single feeder this is the single feed configuration sf configuration and if we talk about once again the contingency in a power system network suppose there is no grid grid power supply in case of grid failure it may happen sometimes that there is no grid power supply so in that case what will happen in the emergency configuration i have drawn here so i have configured that there is no grid there is no grid power supply available here so the bus coupler breakers are closed and this dg is in operation so this 10 megawatt diesel generator which is connected with this 33 kb system so it is catering the uh, entire load not the entire load may be based on the uh, emergency emergency con uh, condition or whatever emergency loads are required to run as per the process requirement we need to feed particular those uh, those loads only so that the dg capacity definitely it is for for uh, it is much lower than the uh, grid capacity so only the emergency loads will be connected so here i have considered some of the motors and the distribution transformers at lv levels also but the main thing is that um, uh, the main thing is that the bus coupler breakers are closed at lv level also the bus coupler breaker is closed so this is the emergency configuration so as of now as of now we have we have discussed about the normal or dual dual feeder configuration we have discussed about the single feed configuration where one of uh, where one out of uh, two transformers is taken out of uh, taken out of service for maintenance purpose we have discussed about the emergency configuration where the grid power supply is not there so the dg so the dg uh, shall have to cater the required uh, load so these are the contingencies these are the contingencies in a power system network so in this situation as a power system engineer we need to analyze we need we need to uh, suggest that uh, uh, we need to check whether the equipments that means the cables or transformers or any other equipment circuit breaker so those are capable those are capable to to cater the the required uh, load the required power demand so that the system will be in a stable condition and no transient uh, no transient should happen and the system will be in a stable condition
that unstable situation should not arise and the entire power system need, uh, should not collapse due to uh, suppose uh, n minus 1 contingency situation so as of now this is the theoretical and the concepts whatever i have discussed so after this in this uh, next phase now i am going to simulate i uh, simulate at different configurations that means in dual configuration uh, single feed configuration and also in emergency configuration to check whether the equipments like this main transformer or this cable uh, those are capable to those are capable to cater the required uh, load to the downstream network as per the process requirement and uh, we'll compare uh, with the help of this load analyzer so without any time delay let's uh, quickly move to the load flow analysis tab over here so here we need to we need to simulate suppose the dual fit configuration so this is dual fit configuration in this configuration let's uh, run this load flow and before that let's take this one brief case and uh, here the uh, loading okay done nothing's there nothing as such it's okay so let's quickly run the load flow analysis okay so done but uh, here uh, whatever power real and reactive power or the power, um, uh, power is flowing or the power factor or whatever maybe the status we should not talk about uh, anything here so firstly let's run the uh, balance two configurations then we'll uh, analyze and we'll uh, compare uh, with the help of load analyzer so uh, let's go to the single fit also in the single fit configuration let's run this one is load flow study and also during emergency during emergency condition let's run this one okay okay that's fine now uh, we'll go to uh, we'll, we'll go to this load flow analyzer and with the help of this analyzer we will analyze uh, the contingencies okay so first of all here first of all here you can see this emergency emergency LF and this is the dual feed dual feed and this is single feed so if we uncheck this one so emergency dual feed configuration and single feed configuration so emergency this column is for emergency this column is for dual feed that means normal operating configuration and this one is for single uh, feed configuration so what to check and what what uh, what are the parameters we need to analyze this as a power system engineer let's discuss first of all this general info here you can see this general info under this there are three columns as i have already discussed so the main thing we need to check we need to come here in this in this case here this uh, row number 18 and 19 this generation megawatt generation megawatt this is 4.28 megawatt during normal uh, or dual fit configuration and during single fit configuration it is 4.278 generation reactive power reactive power generation this is 2.54 and during single fit 2.8 now coming back to this 16 this is the load this is the load connected load this is uh, generation real power generation and this is real power uh, requirement uh, by the load so this is coming 4.249 and whereas the generation is generation is 4.28 that means what is the loss so row number 20 is the loss this is in real power loss 
loss in real power it is coming 0 0.0306 0 0.0306 show this generation generation real power minus load real power drawn by the load that is that figure is coming as load uh, sorry loss which is the megawatt loss or real power uh, loss and similarly the generation of uh, m bar in the uh, reactive bar minus minus this uh, reactive uh, power drawn by the load so that figure will give us the loss in uh, reactive bar reactive power so this is for dual fit configuration and this is for single fit configuration and also this is for emergency configuration so this figure this is very important uh, at a glance we can get the idea what is the generation uh, what is the real power generation what is the uh, reactive power generation what is the real power requirement by the load what is the reactive power requirement by the load and uh, the difference between these two generation minus uh, load requirement so this is uh, coming as the loss figure the reactive power loss and real power loss next let's uh, let's move to the uh, next step uh, here bus results bus results you can uh, check here the um, loading uh, not uh, loading voltage okay so this is the voltage so uh, these are the uh, these are the um, uh, marginal marginal alert and whereas these are the critical alert because here you can see this critical uh, this over voltage this is 5% uh, over voltage that means 105% so whenever it is crossing 105 105% uh, those are coming in red color because this is critical and this is the marginal figure so 102% is the marginal and 98% under voltage this is marginal so based on this and this is coming now the main thing what we need to check uh, from the contingency perspective uh, we need to check here let's move forward to the next uh, uh, next item which is branch branch results from the branch results if you check this transformer and cable suppose we want to check the transformer and cable uh, loading so oh, which one suppose this uh, transformer tr01 and tr02 as you can recall this tr01 and tr02 these two two transformers these are the main transformers these are the main transformer here you can see these are the main incoming transformers so <coughs> let's uh, uh, check uh, what loading this is the loading you can check uh, the ampere flow power factor whatever maybe but this is the most important thing this percentage loading what will be the transformer percentage loading so transformer tr01 uh, this and during dual feed configuration during dual feed uh, during dual feed uh, configuration this loading is 14.6 percent is only that means each transformer is loaded as 14.6 percent that means the transformer is uh, the, the uh, each of the transformers is under loaded basically uh, this transformer is designed uh, with a huge margin so the transformer capacity can be reduced also uh, from this analysis we can we can conclude this one because each transformer during normal configuration each transformer is loaded only up to 14.6 percent is during um, during maximum loading condition whereas whereas during single fit configuration during single fit configuration this tr01 is in service because tr02 is out of service this tr02 is out of service during single fit configuration so only this tr01 is loaded so the entire load is catered uh, by this transformer only so uh, in that case also the total transformer loading is coming only up to 32 percent 32 percent is the maximum transformer loading so again this is uh, this is uh, over designed actually so we can reduce the transformer uh, rating so uh, based on this so it can go up to uh, 75 percent or 80 percent and during normal configuration uh, uh, during the normal configuration and normal condition this transformer loading uh, let's say uh, 46 percent or 50 percent you can load this transformer 
so uh, the loads are very less compared to the transformer rating whatever we have selected so based on this analysis we can uh, conclude that this transformer uh, tra this transformer loading is uh, too less uh, so we can reduce the transformer capacity also or or in the uh, in the downstream network we can add uh, more loads uh, to load this transformer so this is one of the important aspect now coming to the cable coming to the uh, cable suppose i think this is cable number seven yeah here cable number seven uh, which is connected with the main transformer tr01 and cable number eight transformer tr02 let's check uh, what is the status for cable seven and cable eight so this is cable seven so for the cable seven during dual fit configuration it's cable in cable is loaded only 7.3 percentage because this is in percentage this loading is in percentage so this is 7.3 percent uh, uh, and uh, in single fit configuration only 16 percentage cable loaded so it can go up to 80 percent or 90 percent during single fit uh, uh, during single fit con uh, condition so this cable is also uh, very less uh, loaded so this uh, cable size we can check this cable size or if we if we uh, increase the loads connected in the downstream network uh, automatically this cable will be loaded um, this cable loading will be increased so in that case we can check in that case we can check so these these are the these are the analysis part analysis perspective uh, in the different contingencies in a power system network we can analyze with the help of etap software uh, what is the ma uh, main equipment uh, main equipment loading and uh, what is the uh, margin available uh, for the future activities or the future load addition if we can if we can reduce or increase the transport capacity or the cable uh, cable size because cable is very costly uh, item so we can save money also so this is for the optimization purpose and also to check the contingency in a power system network and uh, i think these are uh, these are sufficient uh, for this particular topic and here you can see this grid one maximum fault minimum fault okay during dual pit configuration we have considered uh, uh, grid uh, maximum fault condition so this is the source only this is this uh, these are the sources and this is grid two uh, basically the same grid we have uh, we have taken uh, the dual fit configuration uh, the maximum fault maximum fault current and minimum fault current uh, we have considered for the single fit configuration but these are basically uh, same grid and during emergency condition uh, that dg is running dg is also under loaded because there is no as such a load or not much loaded so only 0.994 megawatt it is loaded so with the help of this load flow analyzer we can check and analyze all the things so i think uh, this is this is all for for this uh, session